Today we're going to make a mountain of gems bigger than the earth, but first we need to mine right into the planet's core. Luckily these enormous sapphires are worth an absolute fortune, so when we're done mining we switch over to the vacuum and suck them all up. From there we take them 10 at a time to our processor. Once those are done we stack them up and put them on the truck for sale. Becoming a billionaire is just that easy. It just takes 100,000 years to do it. And you don't want to forget the part where you collect your mountain of money. Also this is Mark, we've hired Mark to do all the work for us. Like any successful business, we're going to have somebody else do all the work. That means I can spend more of my time chewing through enormous sapphires. But this still feels a little bit slow. We need a little bit more power out of our drill. I don't want to think about how weak our jackhammer is going to be. And I know the next step is going to be red because I'm starting to see just a little. So let's help our little friend here move some of these along because the more we sell, the bigger the truckloads get. Now we ship a few of those off and we've made ourselves another million dollars. And that's perfect because not only can we upgrade our processing machine several times, but also our excavator power a whole bunch of times. And every once in a while, we're going to go back to previous areas to collect a little easy profit. Turns out gold and rubies and emeralds are also worth a lot. The first area has a skyscraper of money. We're going to go ahead and take all of that with us. None for the workers. If they're lucky, they'll be able to see their family this year. And even just while I was doing all that, we made another several million dollars. So this is Paul, he cost $2 million and he's going to make me a bunch of money. That means we're going to get even more excavator power and more processing power. So now we can go through the dirt quite a bit quicker because we spent millions of dollars on this drill. That's a little better look at all that money we're making. And we're going to go straight down for that big guy. They're starting to turn orange or our next gems are going to be something orange. I just broke through two enormous sapphires so that's going to be a nice boost of money. And we've reached our current rope limit anyway so back to the surface where we have a massive pile of gems waiting to be processed. So I think we're going to try and build another one of these. We just need 4.5 million. So we're going to rely on the super worker a little bit today. If anyone can get stuff done, it's going to be that guy. He's even pushing things over their limit. He's so good, he's even buried the other workers entirely. They're actually so backlogged that they can't move anymore. But I'll come in and steal the show by carrying giant stacks of sapphires right on my back. Mm, it's not the biggest skyscraper of money I've ever seen, but it is probably the most valuable. Almost five million dollars. Uh, so we're gonna get another, uh, assembly line for that one. Then we're gonna save up another 4.5 for that. But the amber, whatever they are, worth $54,000 each. They're worth twice as much as a sapphire anyway. And it really won't actually take that long to make another 4.5 million dollars. In the time I said that sentence, I made another one. We'll go back to zone number two because that's still actually able to produce some pretty good money. There's another 600 grand. <laughs> Look at these idiots stuck in a mountain of ore. For now we'll just focus on maximum penetration. We're going deep. I mean my workers are buried alive for now anyway so I might as well keep mining. The night said it probably would have been uh, smarter to upgrade the value of the blue stuff for now but if you're here to watch things done right you're in the wrong place. Although we are getting pretty close to the uh, orange stuff now so orange stuff is going to be okay for us. We'll just suck up these giant sapphires and then dive right into the orange stuff. We even broke our first giant amber. That's probably worth a million dollars by itself. And then it's back to the surface to help my idiots along. We do have quite the stack of gems waiting for us. And we're getting a lot of amber. While my idiots are working away, let's collect the profits. That was almost perfect. They can do something right. I'm going to fix my diamond conveyor. So now the blue gems are also worth $50,000. So I feel like I really just need to upgrade my conveyors a lot. But here's another stack of money, plus the previous areas for another three quarters of a million. And coming back to the big money maker, we've got almost 10 million dollars already. So let's increase the value of amber right away. Now each amber is worth $104,000, so it's only 10 to get a million. So profits are going to get stupid. Upgrades are getting expensive though, so we're going to have a lot more rope length and also some extra power. And we're going to start seeing a lot more amber, which is the orange stuff. Also, uh, this drill really doesn't stop to ask questions anymore. It just plows through everything. We're probably legitimately mining at like a million dollars a second right now. And we're not even into the better gems yet. There's a rope length already. We went through that pretty quick because my drill is strong. But we definitely have a nice mountain of ore to get through. And since ore is starting to pile up on that side, let's upgrade the processing machine. That's a big stack of money. That's got to be worth a lot. Well, there's an even 20 million dollars. So let's upgrade our diamonds again. That's just going to make them worth all the more. They're now 81,000 dollars each and they're even cut into a prettier shape. So even this, these are going to make us a fortune now. Which means we need more excavator power and definitely rope link. Then as soon as we get one big stupid rock out of the way, we'll head straight for the bottom and we're starting to see some purple gems. And then by the time I'm back to the surface, we have a huge amount of both types of gems. So we'll take some of our profits nice and early. 
15 million dollars when we're going back to the other stage. That was a big stack of money but less valuable gems, that's gotta be over a million dollars though. I guess now we'll spend 16 million dollars on an amethyst production line. And because of all that extra work, we've hired Robert. Now we have three fairly useless idiots doing all the work for us. Each amethyst, without any upgrades, is 126,000. So in the time it took me to hire another worker, we made another 8 million dollars. I'm gonna upgrade Mark once, and maybe Paul once, just so they can get a little bit more done. Then it's probably just a bunch more rope length. And then back to my favorite place in the world, look at all the amethyst we're going through. When I get to the surface, I really need to try and upgrade the amethyst processor. This will be worth so much money. I've completely zoned out and just been mining through purple stuff for the past little while, and it's been fantastic. In fact, we're going to go to the surface and see what that's all about. Also because I really want to try and get this upgraded soon. That's not a huge stack of money, but that's got to be worth a few bucks. There's 11 million dollars. 32 million to upgrade that thing. Okay, it's going to take a minute. But also not really. We do make like a million dollars a second, and that's without really trying. Like by the time I was done this sentence, there's another 8 million dollars, which is 10 million dollars, which is a third of the way there. That was easy now that we pretty much run out of purple ore to sell for a minute. We're going to upgrade that amethyst conveyor. $250,000 each, so every 4 we sell is a million dollars. We've got even more power, so we're really going to send this stuff flying around. I think this time we're going to go for the undercut strategy. I'll just kind of tunnel my way along like that and break through to the surface and everything will fall down below me anyway and it's just a really efficient way to mine. At least that's what I tell myself but it is very satisfying to dive into a giant pile of valuables. And the ground down here pretty much is made of purple stuff which is hugely valuable right now. And there we go another sea of stuff to soak up. <laughs> which definitely means we got a lot to process through. So I'm gonna upgrade my processing machine. These things are really tuned to the ore in a hurry now so we can really stack it up. Plus I've got the super idiot running around also helping and he can overload things. Long story short, this is a big stack of money. That's going up quick, there's 25, 30, 40 million dollars. And by the time I ran back here basically another 18 million. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade Amethyst again, that's going to be worth even more. About $400,000 each, so three of them now was worth well over a million dollars. And I've still got a lot of purple stuff to get through. So like I actually just ran to the bottom and back again and there's already another 8 million dollars, so we're in good shape. Since we've got all this money, we might as well go for it on the drill upgrades and also rope length. Hey, you know what? Everything. I'm sure by the time I'm back to the surface, there'll just be more stuff to do. Wow, this extra power really works. But uh, rope length wasn't as long as I thought it might have been. But somehow we're still allowed to go deeper. Uh, that extra drill power really works. We're like flinging the dirt back to the surface ourselves at this point. I mostly just show up on a surface every once in a while to collect my fortune and head back underground like a subterranean mole. But now we're going real deep with a level 32 rope, and we're going to upgrade that a few more times, and you know what, more rope. Pretty sure with those upgrades we will legitimately be able to go like right to the bottom. This thing <laughs> really is going for it. So this time let's see if we can legitimately go like all the way down to the bottom of the lane. Starts to get a little hard at this point because all the ore is kind of like forcing itself into me. But that'll make vacuuming it up easier. Works kind of like a sink trap. See, the trick is you gotta mine upwards, that way all this stuff falls down to the bottom and it's not in your way. I don't know why more people don't mine this way. Look how powerful this thing is though, it just goes straight through it like butter. I've made quite a mess down here. The game is actually lagging at this point, there's so much stuff going on. Uh, there's a lot of pieces moving the game doesn't love, so let's start to take care of some of this. Five minutes later, got all that sucked up. Which, yeah, definitely means we have a pretty big mountain of ore here waiting to be processed. I'm going to go ahead and collect this stack of money so we can build a new one up right away. We're just being efficient with that. And that's a lot of money. That's $43 million. And our previous stack of money is almost off the screen at this point. That's going to be a lot. Almost $2 million. I didn't realize I could have been upgrading my character so cheaply this entire time. Considering how much money we have, uh, this would have made things faster. Yeah, I'm like a lightning bolt now. And I can stack up this much on my back. So yeah, I wish I did this a long time ago. But you know what, that doesn't really matter because now, look at all that money we just made again. $10 million per upgrade? Okay, we're going to work in the vacuum. We're definitely going to need a little bit more rope length. I can't believe I managed to spend that money that quickly, but we upgraded our drill power a lot, so this thing's even quicker now. Yeah, the game doesn't love that. That's a little better. Once we start to get some of that stuff actually off the screen, it's happy again. Okay, back on the surface. Got a lot piled up. There's a lot of gems over there. We're going to be pretty rich after this. That's a big stack of very valuable money. This one's going to be worth a lot. There's 40 million, 50 million, 60, 70, 80 million. That's got to be over 90 million. <laughs> it's just that easy. Because there's something wrong with me, I just built up another absolute skyscraper of cash. The game's even telling me at this point, expand your area, stop doing this. So just a few more gems and we'll do exactly that. 
$200 million should get us to where we're going. It's $120 million just to open this area. So let's see what kind of new gems await us down below. It's very yellow stuff. And our original rope length isn't going to get us very far into it. Okay, we're going to throw our first stack onto the conveyor, figure out what this is and what it sells for. Definitely going to need some upgrades. This is way too slow. And well, to start with, these are worth $500,000 each, so that's a nice bonus. So that's another $7 million, and that was just like the little surface of this area. Luckily, I brought some extra cash with me just so we could do this a little quicker. Naturally, I went ahead and spent, uh, like $80 million on a bunch of upgrades. It's going to take us considerably past where we're supposed to be right now. To balance it out, though, I did, uh, forget to hire a worker, so we're going to have to do a lot of this work ourselves. Okay, this bit of ore will definitely get us going. I've also brought in a super moron to help us along. We'll take the money we have for now. Which was actually $7.78 million. This is why I feel like I should have spent more time in this area because I could have stacked up a lot more money very easily. But I can still go back every once in a while for another easy $20 million. $32 million doesn't go nearly as far as you think it would. But I guess we are starting to produce it pretty quickly. There's an easy 30 I really think I need to upgrade the conveyor. $8 million. That was $24 million for two upgrades. But it can hold a lot more and it will process it quicker. And basically by the time I did that I made another 20 million so I think I'm on easy street. While we're waiting for things up on the surface to get going, we're gonna keep mining deeper and we're already starting to see red gems. Uh, without an upgraded drill too, it's also a little bit harder to do my old mining strategy. It'll still kinda work, but it's a lot slower. And we're absolutely gonna Scrooge McDuck this one. Even this small little stack of cash is still worth a lot. There's a 90 million dollars we need to upgrade this so we get better quality gold. We could set up the ruby production line, we need more money for our gold right now. Now they're gold coins, they're worth almost a million dollars each. And that's good because we have a lot of them, kinda wish I didn't just pick all those up. Well I'm waiting to get rid of all this ore off my back, but I did just get another 50 million for that and there's still a lot more to process. I just spent a fortune upgrading the processing machine itself so now it's gonna go through stuff much faster. Here we go back to making money stupidly quick, almost 90 million dollars. We're producing gold faster than a truck can take it away at this point. Each one of these almost a million dollars. I could probably just stand here and get money inserted into me at regular intervals. That should be almost 40 million dollars for that truckload. Which means we have the 100 million dollars we need for the ruby conveyor. Then with their base is worth a little bit closer to a million dollars in the gold. So while my precious idiot up top is busy dealing with that stuff, I'm going to continue to give him more stuff to work with. And we're about to run into a lot of ruby, so hopefully I can get some hundreds of millions of dollars to upgrade the ruby conveyor. It's very satisfying knowing how much all this is going to be worth once I actually get it processed. Well, that's a big stack of ore, and that's a big stack of gems. We're going to have to call in the big guns for a sec. I'm going to load the rubies on the conveyor myself, because these are worth a fortune. Like, this stack of money doesn't look like much. We've seen much bigger, but that's already 65 million. I feel like we're going to be a billionaire before we know it. Plus, I still have a mountain of ore to get through. Okay, that was worth $130 million just like that. And that's good because we can upgrade the ruby conveyor. Now, every ruby we sell is almost $2 million. And we're going to mine a lot of those. Like, even in the little time it took to do a circle, I made another $45 million. So, um, idiot John needs a friend. We're going to hire my $40 million friend and upgrade him for $12 million. Now, hopefully I can just do a little bit less of the work myself. And another circle around my area and there's $140 million. I just spent another $100 million on a uh, rope length, so we have $200 million in the bank, so we need to go deeper. And I'm starting to see the next gem, I think it's an emerald. It definitely appears to be emerald, I can see it starting in the bottom of the screen. The production line for emerald is $320 million, again that sounds like a lot of money, but we probably have a few hundred million sitting right here. Well, we had $140 million, which absolutely gives us enough to build an emerald conveyor. And each emerald is worth $2.2 million. I hired the super worker, he already made us another $150 million, and we've got a ton of money and ore sitting right here. Basically circled the area again, and there's another $130 million. Quickly saved up $400 million, that means we could probably get a little more rope length and drill power. Then it's time we dive into an absolute monstrosity of an emerald mine. The ground through this stretch is pretty much green, and that's good for us. We also have a few massive emeralds sitting here, and that's worth a lot. There might actually be a billion dollars in loose uh, ore sitting at the bottom of this. I guess we'll know for sure very, very soon. It definitely seems like a big pile. And the ore on the other side is definitely filling up. So we'll take these emeralds over ourselves, just because it's so satisfying to watch them go. I need quicker trucks. That's the biggest holdup at this point. We're stacking the gems up so quickly the trucks can't take them fast enough. And there's still an absolute mountain of emeralds sitting there. That is a really big stack of really valuable money. So let's see what we got. 
There's 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million. Well, I'm pretty sad because we fell a little bit shy of the billion dollar mark, but that's 850 million dollars. And that was from one mining episode and we haven't even processed through it. But it took like 10 seconds later and we're officially a billionaire. So next time we'll find even bigger, better stuff.